Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm with Leo of Ireland Pay and we're kicking off the financial services series on my channel. I'm really excited here. How are you today? I'm doing great, Ken. Thanks for coming by the office. Uh, you know, excited to, to sit down with you and uh, be able to, you know, talk about uh, uh, financial services. Yes, absolutely. And you are in merchant services uh, specifically. Just give me, why don't you give me a little background about you as a, as a, as a business and, and as a person? All right. So, uh, you know, again, we're in merchant services. Um, I'm Leo Gonzalez Rubio. I'm the VP of sales for Iron and Pay. And um, I got into the business when I was in college. Uh, a, lo a lot of people, when they're in college, they're looking to make some extra cash. And that was my first step in, in, in the game. You know, so they talked to me about residual income. I had no idea what residual income was. And once they explained it to me, it just it stayed in my head. And I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And I was like, well, this is something that, that very much interests me. You know, where I can give myself a raise on a monthly basis uh, based on, on my performance and, and the accounts that I would bring in. So that was, uh, that was my introduction to merchant services. Uh, fast forward, uh, here, here we are. It wasn't watching Office Space then, right? I mean, no. come on. Most no, people no, no. love that movie. If you think <laughs> about financial services, it's kind of a, a satirical take on what what this, this whole business is about. I would say it's, it's a lot better than that. What are some of your principles for financial health? Because I really do feel like what I'm trying to offer this channel and what I'm offering my audience is the understanding that financial health is important to their business, but you have to have principles. So what are some of those? So, so when it comes to financial health uh, and, and principles, uh, I, I think it's very important to surround yourself with the right team. Uh, very much like an individual who's training, uh, you want to have the right team around you, whether it's trainers, nutritionists, uh, things of that nature. You want to you want to make sure that that, that that's what you have. So um, with me, it's 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 it's, it's accountants. Um, you know, you're talking about uh, financial advisors um, or individuals like myself that they're guiding their clients in the right direction. Uh, you know, and 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 the approach that that I very much like to take with my clients is a very educational approach. Um, that's you know, there, there's a lot of business owners that have been in, in, um, in business for 20, 30 years and they get a merchant statement and they have no idea what they're looking at. Yeah. Uh, what, you know, separates myself, my team here at Ireland Pay is we like to take the time, break down the statement with the business owner, explain to them exactly what it is that they're paying, uh, not only in rates, but in fees. There's a lot of times individuals like to do, you know, junk fees and hidden fees. Yes. And uh, that's where when you have the right team that's looking after you and protecting you, uh, you know, you're, 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 you're setting yourself to be in a position to win. That's definitely something to, to definitely point out here, right? Education, Education. you mentioned it. Yeah. And something, as the example that you gave as far as breaking down a statement, as far as going through it, not a lot of merchants are looking to do that. Not a lot of folks that are in your space, which is a very competitive space, by the way, yes. um, aren't looking to be like, let me educate my clients because they're looking to get more clients. They're looking to just take over the world. I love to save my clients money. How do you share in that? Um, well, I, I, I like saving um, our clients money. Obviously, that's the that's the nature of our business. Um, we've we've come to the point where uh, before it was, hey, I can save you a little bit of money compared to what the other guy could do, and then the next person would come in and and they would you know lower the fees or the rates a little bit more. But now we're at a point where we can eliminate. Uh, payment processing fees for our clients. And that's something that we at Ireland Pay very much focus in on. Uh, it's, it's eliminating the processing fees for our clients. And it doesn't matter what type of industry you're in, whether you have a regular terminal, you are a salon, a spa, a plastic surgery center, a liquor store, or whether you use a, a solution such as QuickBooks or Xero, and it's more of an accounting software, we can eliminate the payment processing there. And when it comes to restaurants, we can also eliminate the payment processing uh, for our restaurants with a top of the line solution, industry leading, uh, and, it's, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great solution. Absolutely. And I just want to make a little disclaimer. 
you and I, we don't have any asserted relationship here, right? We're not trying to sit here. I'm not, I'm not putting you on my channel. I'm not trying to put you here to say, hey, look, you should really invest in what you're saying necessarily. But you are, you are highlighting some things that I think really show the competitiveness of this space because there are a lot of competitors out there that are trying to do the same things that you're doing and you're doing them your way, right? Versus what other merchant service providers are doing other ways. And you did mention something to me earlier. You said not everybody needs the same solution, right? So you're focused on a lot of different things. Tell me exactly kind of some of the things that you're focused on. So we're focused in on restaurant solutions. So it doesn't matter if it's a quick service restaurant or if it's a high-end restaurant uh, that sits you know, that has, uh, you know, 30 tables. We have the point, the, the, the POS system yes. that would be able to handle it. Um, you have a nightclub, you have a bar. We could go ahead and we can, we can f uh, fill that space as well. Uh, when it comes to accounting softwares, you know, we tend to see that it's in the B2B space where you have your impact window companies, your roofing companies, the tile companies. They're using and, and taking payments via QuickBooks. We're able to help out those clients there. And then when it comes to just individuals that want to eliminate their payment processing, let's say like a, like a chiropractor's office or a doctor's office, uh, we can go ahead and give them a very sleek uh, terminal that fits the aesthetics of the clinic and um, you know just just it, it really boils down to the type of business that you have we're prepared to be able to uh, to, to fit, fit the needs of it that definitely something uh, I resonate with with what you said right it fits the business right you you can't just put any old solution out there right and well, the company I worked with worked for, and I'll mention it, is first data, right? You can't just put an FD terminal at every station Correct. in every place. It's just not going to work. One of the things that made us, that, that makes us different is we very much like to take a consultative approach with our clients mm -hmm. in the sense of, you know, based on what the business's needs are, we'll put them with the right processor. So we work with four different processors here at Ireland Pay, and, you know, one might fit, and, but the other business you know, it, 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 it won't fit first data. Maybe they need thesis. Yeah. Maybe they need world pay. So again, we're taking that approach with the businesses and tailoring a solution fit for their needs. Okay. Let me just take a step back for a minute because I think for myself even, I was like, I think I want to remind my audience what a processor is because that is really important, right? Like you said, why would you need one processor over the other. What is a processor? So the pro so we are a reseller of the processor the same way that major banks are resellers. So mm -hmm. uh, you talk about the Bank of Americas of the world, the Wells Fargo's of the world, uh, SunTrust. All of these banks, they're resellers of, of Fiserv and First Data, same way that we are at, at Ireland Pay. And, um, and different banks have different relationships with different processors. Uh, you know, you talk about Thesis, you talk about the WorldPay, and then our restaurant solution, which is Shift4 Payments. Um, so so that, in, in essence, that's what, um, yeah. what a processor is, yeah. what, what we're looking at. Absolutely love what you do. Absolutely love that you could come on my channel and give me uh, more insight for the audience. Definitely something I, I'm, I very much resonate with. Do you have any other things you'd like to share with my audience? The only thing that, that I'd like to share, Ken, is uh, you know we're very passionate about what we do here at, at Ireland Pay. Uh, we, we basically, what we want to do is take out the bad stigma that business owners have of merchant services. Uh, that's why we here at, at Ireland Pay, we don't operate with contracts for our clients. We eliminate processing fees and we don't we, we also eliminate junk fees. A lot of times, uh, you know, people will give good rates, but then they're getting them with junk fees. We like to eliminate all that stuff. Uh, we want to keep our clients happy so that they can refer us to other clients. Absolutely. So, That's, so, you know, thank you. Thank wow. you, Ken. I, I appreciate you. <laughs> yes, there are definitely there are definitely different types of processors out there, different merchant service providers out there. And I, 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 see, I see them in two different spaces, right? There are good ones and there are ones that are just trying to get by. You're definitely one of those good ones. Thank you. And I appreciate you coming on and Thank being you. a part of this. You, we will have more interviews with more people in financial services like Leo here who want to bring their expertise to what it is that they do to help your business. And I'm certainly excited to continue to do that. Thank you for coming on my channel. Hey, thank you. All right. Until then, until next time, this has been Ken Ross. Please visit my website, IamKenRoss.com, and I'll see you around.